What a war. I want to see it again. I want to see it again, fam. Alexander Povetkin knocked out Dillian White in the first fight. Dillian White avenges his loss by knocking out Povetkin in the second fight. Where was that overhand right? Where was the overhand right that bothered and floored Anthony Joshua? The overhand right that knocked out Dillian White in the first fight. It wasn't there. It wasn't there, fam. Obviously, as we all saw in this fight, Povetkin was still bothered and affected by COVID-19. He appeared sluggish, weak, fatigue in the fight. He wasn't even throwing his signature punch. The overhand right, he was walking in the shots, just leaning in, leaning forward in the shots. Hat goes off to Dillian White. Dillian White was setting him up. Setting him up nicely, fam. Walking him in the shots. Huge shots. Which led to Bevecchian getting knocked out in that fourth round. But he was clearly, clearly still under the effects of COVID-19. He wasn't himself in this fight, fam. They got to run it back. It was a war. Hell of a fight. My hat goes off to Dillian White. He overcame fear. Adversity. A lot of fighters get knocked out the way Dillian White did in the first fight and come back aggressive because Dillian White was a, extremely aggressive in this fight, coming forward, walking forward all fight, bringing the fight to Povetkin. I don't know if White noticed Povetkin was sluggish, still affected by COVID, but he was bringing the fight all night to Povetkin, and he was eager to stop him, eager, fam. He wanted that stoppage, and he got it. He fought his... He fought his A off. <laughs> that was a war. They got to do it again. There has to be a trilogy. At this point, I don't want to see Deontay Wilder. Wilder don't deserve no title shot. He don't deserve no interim shot, no title shot, no nothing, fam. I want to see the trilogy. I want to see Pavekin at 100% because he was clearly not 100% in this fight. Obviously, as we all saw, the man was struggling for his breath. Couldn't catch his breath, fatigue, no energy whatsoever, not letting his hands go. And White took advantage of it, which he was supposed to do. He took advantage of it, fam. But you guys let me know what y'all thought of the fight. Dillian White wins by fourth round TKO. Drop me your comments, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'm out.